curious, has that ever happened to you? Has somebody posted your picture on social media without asking first? Well, here's the thing. I'm a bit of a professional at this. Well, here's the thing. I'm a bit of, I'm a bit of a professional at this. Because the way that you can avoid that situation is just not letting people take pictures of you, which is. Because the way that you, the way that you can avo avoid that situation is just not letting people take pictures of you, which is. It's what I do. So essentially, do. there's no pictures that exist of me that I have not taken. So essentially, there's no pictures that exist of me that I have that I have not taken. And therefore, therefore, I run no risk of a rogue picture being uploaded on Instagram. Therefore, I run no risk of a rogue picture being uploaded on Instagram. Instagram. On Instagram. Instagram. And like you said, everybody has different levels. Like, and like you said, everybody has different levels. Some people might find it strange that I don't have personal social media, and it's just a like some people might find it strange that I don't have personal social media. Some people might find it strange that I don't have personal social media. <clears throat> personal choice. It's not kind of I'm not punishing myself or anything. I just prefer, prefer to do that. And it's not a personal choice. Uh, it's a personal choice. It's a personal choice. It's not kind of I'm not punishing myself or anything. I just prefer to do that. And another example I thought I'd share in a professional context. Cause... And another example I thought I'd share in a professional context. It's also in a professional context as well. I work with... Because it's also in a professional context context as well different clients and Andrew I know that you work with students where I'm sure you have to set boundaries about things like homework and being on time and maybe I work with different clients and Andrew I know that you work with the students where I'm sure you have to I'm sure you have to set boundaries about things like homework and being on time be listening at home maybe you're thinking ah yeah at work if you're listening at home maybe you're thinking uh I have to set some boundaries with my boss, maybe. I have to set by. I have to set some boundaries with my boss, maybe, or with my team. With my team. Well, one thing for me, and this is a really good, good example of this, is about cancellation. So, I and this is a really good example of this is about cancellation. I have different clients that I work with, and so I have different clients that I that I work with. You have to set a really clear boundary that if you cancel. You have to set a really clear boundary that if you for the session before a time, the session before, before a specific the time, time period, then that before a specific time period, session is going to be counted as taken. Mm -hmm. Specific time period, then that session period. is going to be counted as taken. And this is actually really hard. And one thing I did. This is actually really hard. One. One thing. I want to say, Andrew, is that it is hard to set boundaries. I'm And one thing I did want to say, Andrew, is that it is hard to set boundaries. I'm not saying that it's easy. Not saying that it's easy, uh, easy especially when especially they are personal, they are personal relationships, relationships or people that you like. And people that you like. And one thing when you're working thing, with clients is you've got... One thing when you're working with the clients is... You've got to have a very business hat on because... You've got to have a very business hat on because even though sometimes even you though feel sometimes bad because you you're like bad, it's a late cancellation. You're, you're like it's a late cancellation. I feel really bad, but I, I have really to make sure that I, I do this sure because otherwise this. it sets a precedent. Because otherwise it sets a. Precedent. And I'm going to come back to that phrase because I, I use that one. Thank you for that. I'm, I'm gonna to come back on that phrase because before I used and to that set one a precedent, before. it could I be set, a bad precedent. And to set a precedent, it could be a bad or a good one, but normally we use one. it in a bad context. But normally we use it in a bad context. Again, it comes back to that thing of if I. Let it comes back to that thing of if I let you do, let you do this let now, you do this now, you're gonna do it again in the future. You're gonna do it again in the future. And that's not okay. And that's not okay. 
So you have to set that boundary. Make sure. So you have to set that boundary. To really clear. If you can't. Make sure it's really clear. So the session before a specific time, I'm gonna. If you cancel the session before a specific time, I'm gonna. Count the session as taken. I'm gonna count. I'm gonna count. The session as taken. I'm really sorry, but that's the way it works. I'm really sorry, but that's the way it works. <clears throat> I'm really sorry, but that's the way it works. And you have to be quite cold and neutral about it. And you have to be quite cold and neutral about it. But I have, I do find that hard sometimes. Sometimes, but I do have. But I do find it hard sometimes. sometimes. I feel bad. Sometimes I feel bad. But that's the name of the game. These are the. That's the name of the game. These are the rules. Rules. These are the conditions. And it's These are the conditions, and very important to do that because. And it's very important to do that because otherwise people otherwise will walk people all over will, you. They will walk all over you. Walk all over you. Walk all. Walk all. Walk all over you. They really will. They not really everyone. Will. Not but you everyone. do have to be careful. You have to protect yourself. But you do have to be careful. You have to protect yourself sometimes. Sometimes, especially in a professional Espe context, also. Especially in a professional context, also. As well. As well. Yeah, yeah. Especially when it comes to business, right? Yeah, especially when it comes to business, right? Anna, so I know you do a lot of teaching and coaching online. So I know you do a lot of teaching and coaching online. Online, and for example, and if for I example, were one of your clients, if I were one of your clients, and we had a we had session a together, session at, together 3 at 3 p.m. and then at 2:55 2 2 p.m. PM, I message you and I say Anna. Uh, I message you and I say Anna. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but, but my boss, my boss just called me just and called I have to have a different have meeting have a today. Different I can't work today. with you. Could I can't we work. reschedule? I can't work with you. Could we reschedule for a different time? For a different time. Well, in that kind of situation. Well, in that, well, in that kind of situation. You know, you really have to have that boundary because. You really have to have that boundary because. If you just say okay, yeah. If you just say okay, and yeah. And we can reschedule then. We can re we can reschedule. You're wasting your You're time, wasting right? Your time, You've set right? aside that time in your day for. You've set aside that time in your day for. for that coaching that session, coaching and session. if it gets and canceled at the last <coughs> moment, then. And well, if it gets canceled at the last moment. That's your planning time gone. That that's your planning time gone. It's the time that you've scheduled for that gone. You're that's the time that you've scheduled for that gone. Losing your income, so you're losing your income. So it's really important to have that professional boundary. It's really important to have that professional, professional boundary. Place. In place. I completely, I completely agree. agree. I think most people, think would, most understand people would understand that. I mean, that. it does suck if you're on the. I mean, the it does suck if you're other side on the it, other right? side Especially of it, right? If Especially it's a legitimate excuse, but it's if it's a legitimate excuse, but very important it's very important to have, important that, to kind have kind of strong that kind of strong rule, rule that strong boundary, boundary in, place. in place. Yeah, and I think another very quick example of this is always saying yes to things at work. Yes. Yeah, I think another very quick example of this is always saying yes to things at work. I'll do it. Yes, I'll, I'll be it. there. Yes, yes, I'll, yes get I'll be there. Yes, I will finish by get tomorrow. Finish by tomorrow. Without setting without those boundaries, those saying, boundaries okay, saying, okay, I will do this, but I'm okay. I will. I I will do this, but not gonna work until eleven p.m. on a Friday night. I'm so I'm not gonna work until eleven p.m. on a Friday night. I'm sorry. Sorry. So you know, setting boundaries with your boss and your you know setting boundaries with your boss and team because team what because you end up being in danger of is what you end up being in danger of is being a being a 
yes person, yes person. Always, always saying yes, yes. And by that you're actually harming yourself by that you're actually harming yourself because maybe you're making yourself work more hours maybe you're making yourself work more hours you're putting yourself under more stress you're putting yourself under more stress so setting boundaries is i think really important at work and in a so setting boundaries is i think really important at work and personal space but it's in our personal space but it's difficult difficult, difficult. you have to be really strong you have to really, have to really think about what you want and what your value you have to really think about what you want and what your values are. are and it's easier said than done right it's easier said than the right it's really easy to talk about setting boundaries but when you're in that it's really easy to talk about setting boundaries but when you're in that relationship with somebody relationship with somebody can be hard can because, be hard maybe, because you maybe you feel bad maybe you want to trust maybe you want to trust them you want to think that they won't push the boundaries again but i think again. there's but a really nice quote really nice here is Wow. But I think there's a really nice quote here, which is predictor of future behavior. Past behavior is the biggest predictor of future behavior. Behavior. Well, we were talking earlier about those emotionally draining people. Those em well, we, we were talking earlier about those emotionally draining people. Emotional leeches. Those emotional leech leeches. Leeches. If we could call them that, it's not very kind, but... If if we could call them that, it's not very kind, but... I think it's a good expression to, to describe, describe people, people like, like that. that, and there's people like that. I think it's a, it's a good expression to, to describe people like that, and there's people like... Everywhere, in business everywhere as well, in business right? as well, I'm right? not saying, I'm not that, saying clients that clients are bad, bad people, people, but there are, there those, are kinds those kind of people out there, out there, there that, that once they know, they can, know, they can cancel, cancel a session, a session once, once, and they'll try and do it any time that's convenient for them, right? Then they will try and do it any time that's convenient for them, right? So it's very, so it's important, very important to have those rules, have those in, rules place so in place so that you are taking, so that you advantage, are taking advantage One boundary that I have one boundary that I have in my, in life, my life is that is after that 10 p.m. After 10 PM I, try not I try not to do not to anything, anything work-related work -related anymore. anymore. So, so what I mean by what work, I mean by related, work is related is to do with my university job, to do with my university job also QLibs as well. As so well. Because I have so because, these two because I have these two things going on all the time, it means that, that I'm busy and sometimes I have to do work at night or work in the morning, whatever I can. Really, but if it's 10 p.m. It's if like, it hits 10 p.m., it's like, that's it. That's it. No matter, no matter how much, how I, have much do, I have to do, no matter how, no matter stressed, how stressed I am, I it's am, like computers, it's getting, like turned computers off, getting turned off, shut things down for turned off, and I'm going to shut things down the night, for the and night. I really try, I really and, follow try and follow that strict, that strict 10 p.m. rule. rule. I'll even put my phone in. I'm, I will even put my phone in into a mode, mode. There's different, the different options, options so that, that you know, I'm not you getting know, any work-related work messages or emails. Messages or I just try and turn, that, just professional try and turn side of my life off. that professional side of my life off. As soon as it hits as 10 as, p.m., that's my... As soon as it hits 10 p.m., that's my... Hard and fast rule about that. Hard and fast rule about that. I like it. I, I think like time it. boundaries are really good. It's a very. I like it. I think time time boundaries are really good. It's a practical way that you can try and manage your time. It's a very practical way that you can try and manage your time. One small thing that I started doing, and if you one small things that I started doing, and if you are you are somebody, somebody like, like me, me who tends, who tends to, to sit down, sit down and, just and just switch on the TV, on the TV or I'm just going to check out and Netflix see and see what's going on there. Before you know it, two before hours know later, it. you've watched a season of... Before you know it, two hours later, you've watched a season of whatever. Of whatever. I actually started unplugging from Monday to Friday. I, I actually started unplugging from Monday to Friday don't plug in my Amazon Prime so I take out my Amazon Fire Stick take it out uh, I take out the box and I put it under I actually started unplugging from Monday to Friday I watched the session of 
whatever. I actually started unplug in. unplugging from Monday to Friday. I don't plug in at my Amazon Prime. Amazon Fire, Amazon Prime, so I take out my Amazon, Amazon Fire, Amazon Prime, so I take out my Amazon. Amazon, 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 Amazon. I don't plug in my Amazon Prime, so I take out my. I don't plug in my Amazon Prime, so. Amazon Fire Stick, take it out. Uh, I take out yeah. the box and I put it under my bed. I take out my Amazon Fire Stick, take it out. I take out the box and I put it under my bed. And because it takes so much effort to go and get it back and put it in. And because it takes so much effort to go back, to go and get it back and to put it in. I now only watch things like that at the weekend because I now only watch things like that at the weekend. Otherwise, it's just a time sucker and this because otherwise it's just a time sucker. Because otherwise because otherwise Time sucker. Because otherwise, because otherwise, it's just a time sucker. And this is a thing. Like I don't want to spend my time doing that during the week. But it... and this is a thing. Like I don't want to spend my time doing that during the week. It's just too tempting when it's there. So... But it's just too tempting when it's there. It, when it's there, so, so that's one of my recent boundaries. It sounds so. That's one of my recent boundaries. It sounds like like I'm trying to, I'm trying make, to my life worse, make my life worse. But it's not worse. that at all. But it's not that at all. But I do think that boundaries are really important. Otherwise, we just do everything that. But I do think that boundaries are really important. Otherwise, we just do everything that we want all the time. We want all the time, and we want all the time, and you know we'd be getting you know, nowhere. We'd be a, a we'd be getting nowhere. Be a mess. So I'd I, be a I'd be a be a mess. I think boundaries are are really important for yourself to protect yourself from toxic things toxic and things behaviors and that really behaviors are not are really not going to help you gonna help you all that much. All that much. So I think boundaries are really important for yourself to protect yourself from toxic things and behaviors that really are not going to help you all that much. Yeah, absolutely. We absolutely. could say that, setting, say that boundaries setting boundaries are a form are a of self-care, self right? right? They're a way to take care of yourself. I mean, I, I, mean, set, I set that 10 p.m. boundary, boundary so, so that, that I'll get a good I'll night's get sleep. A good night because sleep. I know because if I don't, I know get, a if I don't sleep, get a good sleep, then I'm not going to be not able, gonna to, be able to recharge my battery and I'm not going to have energy to do it. So, to do any work the next day, so well, I'm trying to I'm take, trying care, to of take care of by myself by boundary. setting that boundary. Same, Same with, with social with media, social media stuff. stuff. Maybe I've maybe mentioned I've this mentioned on Kubus before. Kubus before. I can't quite I remember, can't but I think maybe but I, have, I, think so maybe, I think I think maybe I have. So please everybody, forgive me, everybody. If you've heard everybody, this story if before, you've heard this story before, but one boundary, one boundary that my wife and I have in our relationship is that we have no phones. At the so, dinner table. So, so while we're eating, while we're dinner, eating together, dinner together, nobody is using their phone. Using their phone. And, and that boundary, that boundary is, is to help our relationship, our relationship be strong, right? right? We can use that can time use to talk time with each other and with communicate it. with each other. We can use that time to talk with each other and communicate with each other. Often that is the often only time is, of the day. Often that is the only time of the day that we, yeah, that we both, both have, have to sit down and, and you know, talk about you know, what we talk did about that we day, did, what we're thinking, day, or how we're feeling, what we're thinking or how we're feeling, etc., etc. Et so we really need to have that boundary in place to help 
So we really need to have that boundary in place to our help. Our relationship stays strong and to become even stronger. So, so our rel relationship stays strong and to become even stronger. So, so I think although these rules or these boundaries may sound harsh, they're really... So I think although these rules or these boundaries may sound harsh, they are really a way for, a us, way to for us to take care of ourselves. I love that and I, I love that's that. a really nice one to finish on. That it's not because mm. as you said, setting boundaries it can come strong and to yes. become even stronger. So I think finish on that it's not because I love that and I think that's a really nice one to finish on. That it's not because as you said, setting boundaries it can I love that. I think that that's a really nice one to finish on that. It's not because as you said, setting boundaries it can come across as negative and come across as negative and it's negative to avoid toxic things but it's also about things, you know making sure that you can make the most of the good things and i love that thing about being, being present in the conversation and being there being i wish there. more people wish did more that people and i think that's going to be a challenge for us in the future is connecting when we i think it's going to be a challenge for us in the future is connecting what when we are with people and our friends and our family when we are with people and our friends and our and our loved ones so yeah. love that great boundary so i love that great boundary Everyone, well, everyone, that brings, that us, brings to us to the end of this episode. episode. Thanks, for Thanks for listening and congratulations, and congratulations on completing, on completing some English practice, English practice, with, practice us with us today. But now it's, but your, now turn now it's your turn to contribute to the conversation. And you can do that by leaving a comment on our website. Please let us You can do that by leaving a comment on your website. Please let us know, know about, about your experiences, experiences with, with setting, boundaries. setting boundaries. Do you do it? Do you do it? Has it worked out for Has you? What kind, of kind of boundaries do you have in your life? In your life? We're dying We're to dying know the to answers know to all of these questions. So let's, so let's keep the conversation going in the comments, in the comments which you can find, you can find on, on our website, website Qlips.com. We'll be back we'll soon be back with another new episode, and we'll talk to you all then. Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you soon.